we've taken a look at the numeric conditional operators. Now let's have a look at their counterparts for use with strings. This is the four operators that we use to compare two strings. And they are, in turn, equals, not equals, greater than, and lesser than. Once again, it's important not to mix up the string and numeric operators, or we could have very unexpected results. Let's move back to our text editor. And we're going to start with some more conditions here. Here's a very simple condition here. And we're using the one line syntax for the if statement. So what we need to do first of all is set up a value for the variable here. And we're going to set the variable A once again to the value of, of the string SAD or SAD. Then we're going to execute this line. Once again, the same syntax, if A is not equal to happy. So if we move over to our command prompt, we'll see that the string there is output because the condition was met successfully. We can use the statement block as well. And we can say, Let's save that. So here we're using the string equality operator to try to compare the two values on either side of it, the value of the variable A and the literal string happy. Let's see what happens when we execute our script. Nothing at all. Because the value of the variable was not the string happy, the statement block was never executed. Now let's take a look at what happens when we try to use the wrong kind of operator. Once again, we get unexpected results. The block executes because the condition evaluates true. The reason for this is that in the context of numbers, both sides of the numeric equality operator are strings. The numeric equality operator doesn't really know how to cope with strings, so it converts them down to very simple numbers, probably just one. So it's comparing one and one, and it thinks they're equal, and so it goes ahead and executes the statement block. So once again, very important to use the correct syntax when we're going to deal with strings. We can also use another keyword here, instead of using if, we can say unless. As you may be able to guess, the unless keyword does the exact reverse of what the if statement does. So let's move over to our command prompt, test our script, as we can see, the statement block is executed. The unless statement also has a shorter syntax. And here we're going to just print out some text unless a certain statement is true. If the string is set to drab, then we're going to ignore this print statement. Otherwise, we're going to carry it out. As we can see, by testing our script again, both of those syntaxes for unless work in exactly the same way.